peace and good morning grand rising good day wherever you may be it is wednesday august 17th and i hope you all are having a fantastic day wherever you may be it is um in the morning here 9 15 a.m and i am charging up for some reason my car didn't charge overnight i know i was using the dryer and i have like a splitter so my car didn't charge but i am here doing a supercharge before i get started so i thought i'd make a quick video for those of you who are driving a tesla or interested in driving a tesla and these and this is uh, a video on something that i had mentioned before um that i felt like it was an issue um, with owning an electric vehicle when it comes to charging stations so this has come to me twice by two different people so the first one was that i picked up a passenger uh, a month or so ago and he stated that he was asking me questions about the tesla this was the rental and i told him that it was um not enough charging stations and he said that's what he does he installed charging stations and he was home taking a break so he indicated that it was going to be over 60,000 superchargers um, that were going to be installed by the end of this year. I'm not sure if that's just Tesla or um, other um, companies like EVgo or uh, Electrify America, but he did indicate that that's what they were working on and they're trying to get them installed right away as soon as possible. Um, and like I said, this was a couple of months. This was about a month ago. So yesterday I was downtown um, charging up at the um, one that's downtown Atlanta at the Atlantic Station. And as I'm sitting there, a gentleman pulls in and he parks, but he goes over to where they have um, the where they have the power things kind of secure. And he was open it up and he came and he looked at me and he said are you charging and I said yes so um when I got out to unplug my car he walked over he was walking over and he was like he's like you see that car he was like the that car has been here for over a month now and he said it keeps dinging to the system that something is wrong so when he comes out he has to check everything so I said hey you know I said, so you work with Tesla? And he said, yes. And I went on to tell him, I was like, we need more charging stations. Like we need one in Lawrenceville. And I was telling him some areas that I felt would be good. And he said, he's mentioned that because he lives uh, in Decula. And you know, the people who are kind of like in between really don't have anywhere to go. And again, he indicated that it would be 65,000 superchargers that will be installed within this year by the end of 2022 so for all of those who are driving evs for all of those who are looking to get into an electric vehicle this is good news that it will be more charging stations that will be coming across the u.s so look for that look for any upcoming news but this is two sources and one person was um here that he said he worked for Tesla and I know he had to because he had keys to the uh, to the gate where they keep all of the power boxes so I hope this video helps and just bring in a little quick video to let you know that you know more charging stations are coming so um, look for more content coming up please hit the uh, like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you will be notified of all videos that I post I'm going to be shifting a little bit into some different contents other than medical career or doing gig work um, as you know I have a brand the goddess key which I'm working on and I have some exciting news um, that I'm going to be sharing that may be able to help those who have a product or a brand that's trying to get your stuff elevated and I'm going to go through the process and maybe meet with me going through the process it will help you too all right and until next time peace